I'm Dr. Sean Green, and the goal of this video is to get you to understand how testosterone supplementation can adversely affect your sperm counts and what you can do about it. Many of you may not be aware, but up to 40% of men who use testosterone experience a decrease in their sperm counts, which obviously can affect their fertility. Now, for most men who take testosterone, this is not an issue because they're done having kids. But I'm seeing more and more men in my practice who are in their 20s and 30s have all the symptoms of low testosterone, who come to me with documented levels below 350, who clearly would benefit from using testosterone, and they still want to have kids. Up until the past few years, there weren't a lot of published studies that looked at testosterone supplementation, its effect on your sperm counts, and whether or not there were adequate treatment protocols to maintain your sperm counts. However, because of the increased use of testosterone, there are now multiple studies to show that there are protocols that work very effectively, and I use them in my practice every day. So what are your options? The first thing we try is something called HCG, which stands for human chorionic gonadotropin. It's a nightly injection, and what it does is it mimics something in the body called luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone is produced by the brain, which signals your testicles to make more testosterone naturally, hence preserving your sperm counts. And I routinely use this in men in their 20s, 30s, and sometimes early 40s, and I'll see their testosterone levels bump up into the 800 to 1200 range. Your second option is to use a medication called Clomid. Now, I don't have to use Clomid that often because HCG alone works so very well in most men, but what Clomid does is it tells your brain to make two things, follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, both of which signal your testicles to make more testosterone and sperm naturally. Your third option is to actually supplement with testosterone in addition to using HCG every other day. There was a great study conducted by UC Irvine down in San Diego and was published in the Journal of Urology where they took men who supplement with testosterone either topically and injection and they gave them HCG injections every other day. In that study, every single man who was doing HCG in addition to testosterone maintained their sperm counts. Now what if you've been on testosterone for a long period of time or have abused anabolic steroids in the past and your sperm counts are completely suppressed? For these patients, we have a very specific protocol where we use high dose HCG and Clomid to bring your sperm counts up to the normal range in addition to optimizing your testosterone levels. The question becomes, how long is it going to take for us to get your sperm counts up back up into the normal range? The bulk of the literature says anywhere from three to six months. Again, I'm Dr. Sean Breen. I have an anti-aging medical practice in Irvine, California, and I take care of patients all over the world. Thanks. We'll see you next time.